Both of my parents worked, uh, worked all day, and so my grandma babysat us. My grandma, Kay Smith, she was actually like a second mother to us. We'd always sit around the table and talk to her before school, and she'd walk us right out to the bus, and after school, we'd get off the bus, and she'd be standing there right by the mailbox waiting for us. I grew up a lot at my grandma's house. I learned so much from my grandma. I've lived in Columbus my entire life. I grew up a Buckeye fan. You know, when you live in Columbus, that's all you know. I went there on a few visits. I was told by Ohio State that I was the fourth best linebacker that they were looking at, and if the other three guys decided to commit somewhere else, then they decided to offer me. When that happened, for him, it was kind of like, thanks, but no thanks. Coach D'Antonio told him that the football team is a family, and I think going back to how Chris's family oriented, it really stuck with him. Our families are super important to us, so that was kind of nice to have a best friend that has the same qualities as you do. Montana was a senior when I was a sophomore in high school. We met each other through sports, stuck through it through thick and thin, whether it be school or football. She's always there for me. The Spartans win again! The Spartans win again! When they won and Chris ran over to the stands and I was just standing right there ready for him to just celebrate with everybody. So that was pretty awesome. <laughs> Obviously my favorite game was the Ohio State game here at Ohio State. I was with a bunch of my friends that were in Ohio State gear. I was the only one in Michigan State. And they were all like, oh, we're going to win, we're going to win. And the kick is... He hits it! He hits it! It's he gone. did it! What a gutty, gritty effort in Columbus. A lot of people here in our hometown didn't know how well he would do at Michigan State. It was great to have a ton of the community there seeing him do amazing things.